Hi, Matt Sesney in West Palm Beach. Inflation, it seems, according to government data, is not easing here as much as it is in the rest of the country. Have you noticed prices going down at all yet? No. No? No. Going up. It looks like 2023 will be more of what we saw in 2022. No, I, I don't really see prices going down. Those are the typical answers, because while prices eased a bit nationwide, 6.4% jump from a year ago in December, South Florida's jump in prices was just shy of 10%. Compare that to other places like New York at 6.3, San Francisco at 4.9, and Tampa at 8.9. High numbers in South Florida just to live in the Sunshine State. Greg McBride is the chief financial analyst at Bankrate. The reason we have an elevated rate of inflation in South Florida relative to the national average is summed up in one word, shelter. The cost of housing, owning or renting has been an issue here. And while other things have gone up, like food and energy up over 8%, nothing compares to keeping a roof over our heads. Nationally, shelter costs were up about 7.5% in 2022. Here in South Florida, they were up over 17%, so a full 10 percentage points additional here in South Florida. So when does all this get better? McBride says housing costs are expected to ease by the end of this year, and that's also expected to have a positive effect on inflation easing it here to the point where it can finally catch up with the rest of the country. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.